Now I know what you might be thinking. Another luxury electric SUV? Well, yes. But the car behind me is actually something really special. It's the first car on BMW's Neue Klasse platform, the future of its entire EV program. And that promises faster charging, better range, more performance, and better software than we've ever seen from BMW before, while still being pretty fun to drive. This is the BMW iX3, and we're gonna dig into what makes it so special. So I saw the production BMW iX3, i.e. this car, for the first time about an hour ago. And I gotta tell you, I think it looks really good. The Neue Klasse concept had been around for a while, and that was a pretty striking design. But this thing takes that concept to production in a really nice way. It's not as spaceshipy as the concept car was. I think it looks much more just like an ordinary car that anybody would buy, just a regular BMW. And I think that's what this next group of EV buyers want. They don't want something that screams electric vehicle or looks like a spaceship. They want a normal car. And this thing looks like a BMW through and through. You've got the kidney grills here. You've got these great lights that stretch across the grill from the concept. It's immediately recognizable for what it is and it fits in well with the X3 and the X5 family. I think they really nailed the design here. Because this is an EV and we, we put an emphasis on efficiency, we've got the door handles that go into the doors themselves. I'm especially a big fan of the taillight treatment here, how this stretches across the entire tailgate. Uh, this, this, this lighting pattern's really cool here and you can customize how that looks too. Let me show you something very quickly. It's going up, lights off. Give it time, give it time, okay. Put it down again. Check this out. Oh yeah, I kind of love that. Now as cool as the iX3 looks on the outside, I have to say like the interior is kind of the star of the show for me. I feel like this interior is 10 years ahead of the last BMW I drove, even the iX, honestly. This steering wheel has a really unusual shape with these kind of like little gaps here between the controls and the grips itself. Get your hands in the proper nine and three position because this is still a, a, as high tech as it is a true driver's car. These are haptic controls on either side so you get a little bit of feedback when you press these buttons here. And I like how the dashboard sort of blends into the door. This is actually a design feature I've seen on a lot of advanced EVs in China. BMW benchmarked this car against a lot of advanced Chinese EVs so that makes sense but it, it's a very seamless design flow right here. Because I feel like this is a car designed by people who are really smart and really good at software, but also really love driving and don't like to take their eyes off the road and their hands off the wheel too much when they're enjoying the car. It feels designed for that kind of person. We have two charging pads down here. We have USB-C ports and we've got our gear selectors, this very discreet little unit right there. I like how this is sort of built in in just a very compact way that doesn't kind of uh, take up too much room in the rest of the car. I've got a nice storage compartment here, this hollow section below my armrests. Really nice materials throughout. I've got this panoramic sunroof. Like this is a really first rate interior. I'm, I'm happy to report that the doors shut with that very confident, heavy German thud, uh, like, a, like a proper BMW should, and not all of their cars have pulled that off in recent years, but we're, we're back to the thud. So that's, that's good if you're a thud fan. One of the most important things about the new BMW iX3 is the software setup, uh, because that's a pretty revolutionary system that's going to preview all of the Neue Klasse EVs. And to learn more about it, I'm here with Marion Sardone from BMW. Hi, Marion, how are you doing? Hi, thank you, I'm great. Would you walk us through the software setup on this car and what it, what it can do? Yeah, of course. So the uh, panoramic iDrive consists of four core elements. So up here on the windshield, we've got the panoramic vision. It's from pillar to pillar, visible from all seats. It's a matrix backlight technology on a black print. It has driving related information on the driver's side. This is always available and uses the legally required information that needs to be there and it cannot be changed. However, in the middle of the panoramic vision and on the right hand side, you can adjust everything and customize it according to your very personal needs. 
So very nice. If you want it clean and lean um, and just want the driving relevant information on top so you can take everything out and just have speed and range there and nothing else. However, if you want everything at a glance, you put in whatever you want. So media, the personal assistant, if you need the compass driving in the US, whatever you wish to have there, uh, just put it there. However, you cannot only display items there, you can also control items there using the multifunction steering wheel. Uh. So if you press, for example, on the media button, you can ah. see there is the radio stations and you can use the arrows to scroll up and down or you can use the left arrow to change the source Right. Move to a different source and use those settings to uh, change it while driving. So no need to look down or look at the central display. So That's it's very easy and um, not just. Yeah. We have the central display. The iconic shape was actually a very conscious choice to um, make it perfect for driver orientation. You see that the screen is inclined towards the driver and it's very close to the steering wheel. So while driving, everything here is in reach and doesn't distract you while driving. So I don't have to reach all the way over to control something. Exactly. It's very frustrating. Exactly. The third item is a multifunction steering wheel. It has on the left side, all the driving assistance features. It uses a shy tech feature, which means the buttons are only illuminated when the feature is available. So no more worrying, what can I use when on the right side of the steering wheel we have the infotainment functions they use haptic feedback and every button here feels different when you touch it so it allows for blind operation during driving the fourth element and we cannot see it unfortunately because we're in a parking position is a 3d head-up display it's a projection onto the road it's only visible for the driver and it combines driving assistance and navigation into one single image. Another thing that is of interesting are the My Modes. So we have the Personal Mode, the Sport Mode, Efficient and Silent Mode. And what's now new to this operating system is that you can completely customize the Personal Mode, not only from the interior ambience, but you can also customize how it feels to drive. So set your drivetrain to eco to reduce mm -hmm. your consumption, but still use a dynamic steering because you want still want the sporty feeling, at least on the steering. Lots of customization, it seems like. It's yeah, you can make the system totally your own. The iX3 may look like just another BMW in some ways, but under the skin, it's actually a high-tech powerhouse. This thing packs BMW's next-generation battery cells. These are cylindrical cells now that have 20% more energy density than the previous generation of batteries they were using. It's a 108 kilowatt hour pack, and it's promising up to 800 kilometers of range in Europe. That's 497 miles, and here in the United States, they're targeting 400 miles of EPA rated range. Of course, the official rating will come later, but for now, we can expect this thing to be a range powerhouse. It should also be excellent in terms of charging. The max charging speed is rated at 400 kilowatts. That's faster than most chargers in America. And it's good enough to add over 200 miles of range in about 10 minutes. Charging from 10% to 80% only takes 21 minutes. So this thing will get you back on the road pretty quickly. And as an added bonus, when it comes to America, it will have a Tesla-style NAX plug. And of course, it wouldn't be a BMW if it wasn't fun to drive. Now that we have the specs, we can actually tell you how much fun it should be. All EVs are quick, and this one is no exception. The iX3 has dual electric motors that make a combined 470 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque, getting you from 0 to 62 miles an hour in 4.9 seconds. And BMW promises class-leading handling on top of that. So what's next for the iX3? Well, it's going on sale in the spring of 2026 in Europe first, where it's going to be priced around 68,000 euros. Current exchange rates, that's about $78,000, or about 14 grand more than your average gas-powered BMW X3. It's a little on the pricey side, but I have to admit, with the spec sheet here, you're definitely getting a lot from this vehicle. 
And remember, the Neue Klasse platform previews everything to come from BMW on the electric front. There's also the i3 sedan that I'm really excited about. There's an entry-level model coming soon, presumably a single motor, rear wheel drive version of the iX3 and a lot more performance cars coming soon too. It seems like a really impressive setup, so I'm excited to see what the Bavarians have in store for us next. For Inside EVs, I'm Patrick George.